So I've been playing Cyberpunk since day one, and there's a lot of mechanics in this game that make it really fun to do challenge runs with. But there's one mechanic in particular that stood out to me as being ridiculous and pointless, and that is the Berserk Stomp ability. Outside of getting the achievement where you have to take down two enemies with it, I have literally never used this ability. But of course, in me chasing down the weirdest ways to beat this game, I thought why not beat the game with just this ability. Now, I let my channel members vote on my next run, and this is the one that ended up winning. Uh, but the issue was, I didn't realize how broken and uh, kind of useless this ability was until I started testing it. There's a lot of instances you'll see in this run where it just won't work. However, the idea of stomping someone kind of fell in line with a recent movie that came out, which is Super Mario. So to offset the moments when I'm not doing damage, I'm going to be throwing these fire grenades, basically filling out the lore, making me have fire flower abilities along with my stomp ability. I can easily say this is the most scuffed, but also successful run I've ever completed in this game. So this run was fairly straightforward and honestly a lot of fun hanging out with you guys, especially because we spent probably the entire stream figuring out who was who in the Super Mario Cyberpunk lore. So if you want to be a part of those streams in the future, make sure to hit subscribe and click the bell to be notified of any future streams. Also, if you guys wouldn't mind throwing a like or a comment down below, I would really appreciate it. We just broke 25,000 on my channel and I couldn't be any more excited. It means I'm officially a quarter of the way to my silver play button. And it's honestly all thanks to you guys and the support you guys have shown me. So again, thank you guys so much. Anyways, that's enough of an intro, let's get into the video. Booting up the game for the first time, I will be putting this game on easy difficulty. In my initial testing, very hard was actually almost impossible, even with my max level builds. It just didn't seem to work, so this is the first run where I'm playing on easy. And because our boy Mario is a plumber, we felt the Street Kid intro fit the best. After giving our boy a mustache that'd make any man jealous, I put my starting attributes into body, technical ability, and reflexes. Now because this run depends on Berserk Cyberware as well as double jump to get high enough to activate Berserk, until we can get to EGAD to get our Cyberware, we're gonna kinda gloss over these missions. I finish up the Street Kid intro, stealth kill my way to save Sander Dorset, and after my brother Luigi takes me home, we head over to EGAD's The Ripper Dock. Again, because this run is so dependent on cyberware, I use cyber engine tweaks and just give myself the cyberware I need, especially since Berserk mods really aren't available until you finish the heist mission, so getting some early Berserk mods that are just usable is kind of required for this run. I equip the Reinforced Tendon's Legs, an uncommon Berserk mod, and of course my Zoomy Eyes. With cyberware in place, Luigi tells me to go meet up with Wario, we have a quick conversation about the upcoming mission, the heist, and the things I need to do to get set. After getting released into the open world, I decide it's time to give this a little bit of testing. <laughs> yes, that's also a thing I forgot about, that uh, explosives near you are an absolute no. <laughs> and here I thought this day would be a dud. Okay, we got one. <laughs> I think we used the explosive though. Now I have to wait a minute. I have 10 seconds of opportunity and then I have to wait a minute. <laughs> one quick side note, I did install a mod that lets me press crouch to activate this stomp ability because relying on it just triggering when I get to a certain height just felt really impossibly difficult. So I wanted to make it a little easier to activate and to kind of target lock enemies with. Now, even in this very first interaction, you can start to see how buggy and messed up this is. Sometimes it hits, sometimes it doesn't, and especially when I'm on these stairs trying to hit this guy, it just does absolutely nothing. After going all the way through this stream and my initial testing, I'm very certain it has to do with the surface of ground that you're hitting. You see the text of this superhero landing is when you hit the ground, you create a shockwave that damages nearby enemies. And I think the game is checking to see if you hit the right kind of ground to cause a shockwave, making sure you're not hitting just some sort of random post or pole or something. But that turns out to be very limiting on where you can use this ability, making it extremely annoying. After realizing I hate the charge jump ability, even though it's more Mario-like, I switch back to double jump and then decide we need to get our drip on point to look more like Mario. Do we go for like the really bad flat cap that is probably more Mario-esque or do we get like the samurai one? The flat cap? All right, all right. 
Oh, it's so bad. <laughs> And then before jumping into all foods with Luigi, I head over to go grab the credit chip from Merit. Wait. Oh, we never thought of a name for Meredith. Uh, yeah, she doesn't really matter. She's kind of a side character. After grabbing the credit chip, I neutralize the malware and Luigi and I make our way into all foods. Luigi and I make it into all foods, have a nice chat with the thwomps, and hand them the credit chip, telling them that Militech's onto them. That way they help us through this next fight. After you get Dex's dick out of your mouth, tell him I say hello. Okay. What the shit? Militech. Okay, dum dum, let's go. We going in. We gotta be a part of this fight. It's not letting me. Let's try these guys. It's not doing any damage. This is what I feared. <laughs> Why is this so glitchy? Why would you put something in the game like this that doesn't even work? Work? I mean it stumbled him, okay. I swear. This is so dumb. Uh, how's it going, Brick? Is there a mod that fixes the jump attack? Not that I know of. Okay. Alright. No? Man, I love this ability so much. Don't you think it's the coolest thing they've ever added to this game? Like, I'll just loot while I'm waiting for my cooldown. Do you mind? I'm trying to loot. These guys got mad high for his facts, dude. I don't know why this isn't working right now. It's making him stumble, but it's just not doing damage. Alright. Oh! <laughs> Wait a sec. Oh. That was amazing. <laughs> Literally like random dudes, impossible to kill. A giant mech, just one tapped. <laughs> I don't get this dude. I don't understand. With Flathead in hand, I make my way to Lizzie's bar to go meet up with Birdo. Birdo and Rosalina show me this brain dance that they had with Bowser Jr. And we find the information we need on where they're holding Cappy. Gosh, this is hurting my brain. With that wrapped up, I go upgrade my Berserk to the rare tier 1 in my inventory and go meet up with Luigi and start the mission, the heist. After Yoshi takes us into Compeki Plaza, we use the flathead to hack into the Netrunner and make our way to Bowser Jr.'s penthouse. After grabbing Cappy, we hide in this pillar and watch as Bowser Jr. strangles his father, King Boo. I know it's kind of weird to call him King Boo now, but you know, he, he turns into a hologram later, so King Boo just kind of made more sense later. And with that, Luigi and I get to work. No sound ah! effects. Let's go. <laughs> Drop a quick save. Berserk. It's not working, guys. It's not working again. Jackie, I kind of need you to do some work out here. Can you? Can you please? Okay, I'm just gonna give myself a bunch of these. That way, I can actually do something. I'm going to always try berserk first, though. Oh. He has no right to leave. I can't see anything because the berserk effect. Yo, it's working. It's finally working. <laughs> Hold up, I have 10 seconds. Gosh, easy difficulty, I swear. That would never work on not easy difficulty. Okay, here we go. I can't see again. Yes, let's go. Okay, uh, this way, I think. Five, four, three, two, one. Ah. Okay, I think it's kind of working, so I'm gonna I'm gonna keep doing this until I know for sure like they can. I'll only use the incendiaries incendiaries if I have to. He's mine. Kill or be killed. It's not working. Here, hold that. You hold that one. <laughs> hold it. Here, take a couple. <laughs> These grenades are so bad. 
Like, you, you couldn't have made those do any more damage. And for some reason, some floors just don't work. Oh, this is working. Okay. Also, sometimes it's just the dude. Like, the dude doesn't... It just doesn't matter. Like this guy. He just... He won't... Here, hold these. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Oh, got him. Let's go. Nice. Dude, a huge dub. Let me at him. Let me at him. Oh, oh. We're going in. Oh, yes. Come here. You're mine. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> oh, I gotta wait for cooldown. I wanna stomp it. I wanna stomp it so bad. <laughs> You're mine, mech. <laughs> oh, it's so satisfying. Luigi and I hop into Yoshi, take down the Paragoombas chasing us, and we say our last goodbyes to our dear brother, Luigi. Try, Try faster, so Yoshi. See you in the major leagues, Luigi. I'll see you on that rainbow road. I make my way to meet up with Wario and he decides I'm a liability. And we start our Cappy flashback. Besides seeing someone with the metal power up and using the fire flower ability to take down all the enemies, there's really nothing special to talk about here. After waking up in our own body and watch Waluigi shoot Wario, we get through this driving segment, go through all these cutscenes, find out that Cappy is in our head and are finally released back into the open world. I then level up my body to level 12, knowing that I now have access to the epic tier Berserk, I decide to go equip it. I then go meet up with Waluigi to get that ball rolling, and then decide I want a couple more levels under my belt. And get the first couple instances of this just working. <laughs> Come here. Huh? <laughs> oh my gosh. These boys got disintegrated. I, I don't know what's up with that glitch where you like slide out of the car the wrong way. Come here. You guys are mine. <laughs> Who's left, huh? After all these seeming failures, seeing this glimmer of hope puts a good smile on my face. Every so often though, I would run into a mission where the Berserk just wouldn't work, so I would resort to my fire flowers. I'd do a few missions and decide to take a photo with this floating man, because why not? Wait. Why? <laughs> why is this a thing? <laughs> there we go, just, just have that for my... <laughs> For myself in case i don't know and start shopping around at river docks looking for any mods that help with cooldown of the berserk after making enough money to go pay toadette as well as having the cooldown cyberware i decide it's time to go meet up with rosalina and make my way to go say birdo and i make my way up to clouds now because of how buggy berserk stomp ability is i was worried that this entire area would be basically an unkillable plane that i wouldn't be able to use it in and it turns out my theory was correct but before switching just immediately to using my fire flowers, I did try to pretty much berserk stomp everybody in this place before finally defaulting to the fire flowers. With everyone in this area dead, I get the information I need and make my way to go save Birdo. After questioning this piranha plant, I pick up my stream the next morning and Rosalina and I jump into this brain dance and find where they took Birdo. I'm hoping that my stomp works here. Let's find out. Nice. Okay. No. See this, dude. This berserk ability. There's some, something really broken. Okay. Got him. Good. Oh. <sighs> 
fire flower ability. Go! <laughs> Berserk, please. Alright, well, it's not working here. Alright, here we go. Of course. Another area where this just isn't gonna work, huh? I wish I could just make it only Berserk Stomp, but this game is too weird about a mechanic that I don't think they fully intended people to actually use legitimately. <laughs> It just, it just doesn't work, and I don't know why. Everybody, hold these. <laughs> it's kind of funny, though, because these grenades do suck, like, really bad, so. I mean, I could, like, skip combat encounters. Like, this combat encounter, if you just run to Evelyn, you just run past to Evelyn, like, all the people die. With Birdo safe, we jump into the brain dances she recorded for us, and then head to the afterlife to go pay Toadette for the information on Kamek. I then grab a couple cars, park them in the way of Daisy's route, and just use the appearance menu mod to spawn in an AV, cause why not? Ooh, okay. So you just phase through stuff. That's right. Got it. Lots of space. Say no more. It's just never, Please. it's never what I want it to be. You know, it was funny the first couple times, but I think I'm done with this bit. It's, it's, it's pretty underwhelming every single time. With that, Daisy and I go grab some supplies at the avocado camp and head out to surprise attack the Raff and Shiv. And guess what's still here? It's the fan again. Fan. Yes. What do we do? It is a new consistent glitch, guys. We should scout huh? first to look for anything. There it that is. Might be useful. <laughs> Someone mentioned. Did it get further out again? Someone mentioned I should get a Sandy, and uh, try to slow time and see if I can stand on it. And I was like, that's a great idea. Maybe next run. Is it further out? It's further out. It, it went straight through me. Okay. Huh. All right. Daisy and I finish setting up, and we get to stomping. I'm going in. Oh, yes. Here we go. <laughs> Mario's going to stomp you all. <laughs> Come here. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, finally. How it's meant to be. <laughs> With Daisy's truck back, we decide to go into the tunnel and go surprise attack. Uh, we'll, we'll just go with bullet bills. How about that? I satisfyingly stomp my way through most of the enemies, but just like I predicted, the upper catwalks are just kind of a no stomp zone, so I rely on the fire flowers to finish them off. Now because up to this point Waluigi still hasn't called me, I decide to do some assault in progresses to just try and trigger his call, and after doing a couple, he finally calls me up, and I go meet up with him. But before doing that, I decide to spawn this vehicle here, because I feel like it. Waluigi and I have a quick chat with Shy Guy. And after not getting the answers we wanted, we head over to meet up with a toad. With that wrapped up, I go meet up with Daisy and decide to go after Kamek. After overloading a power station, turning it into an EMP, we then use said EMP to take down the AV that Kamek is on. Daisy then shoots a missile at the AV and we watch it dance. We then make it to the crash site and I get to stomp it. Get back here, get back here. <laughs> Dude, this puts such a big smile on my face, I don't know how to describe how fun it is <laughs> to actually get it to work. <laughs> I repeat, drop your weapon. Too late for him to walk out of this alive. Oh, uh, last okay. chance. <laughs> Try to throw an incendiary at him. Die. I'll do it. I just, just speed this up. Daisy and I make it to this airport, clear out the guys, and of course, because it happened last run, I had to do some testing here. These tracks lead up past the <sighs> Close, close, okay. <laughs> Nope. <laughs> it kind of worked. I forgot I could spawn that. The basilisk? No. We'll do Claire's truck. Oh. Okay, I, I'm done.
Not wanting to waste everyone's time, I decided to just head out to go get Kamek and I get stomping. Just like I predicted, inside this building doesn't seem to work, but outside on the pavement seems to work well, so I try to lure enemies out, stomp them, but it does end in disaster sometimes. After finally making my way to Kamek, we have a nice chat at this sketchy hotel and leave him to Waluigi. And with that mission finished up, I'm finally high enough level to equip the legendary Berserk mod. Now because I felt my drip wasn't quite on point, I decided to run around and purchase some clothing from vendors, and then I finally get the call from Waluigi to follow up with him, where we have to go hack the float. And after surveying the area, I run down and get to stomping. Stomp. Oh, it didn't kill. <gasps> yes, let's go. <laughs> what? Stomp. 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 Jesus Christ! You like Okay, okay, I need to hide. Here, uh, hold this. It's a me, Mario! Dude, why do cars have to explode like that? Why are they... Arasaka? Arasaka. Alright, who are we placing our bets on, boys? Are we going for the big chunk? Or are we going for the, the lone soldier, huh? I feel like we have to observe this now. This is fascinating. Ooh. Ooh, oh. Big chunk, got it, alright. Okay. This isn't gonna work up here. Might as well try though. Yeah, it's not. Stomp. Okay, so this guy on the catwalk is gonna be an issue. Yeah, that's not gonna work. Ooh, okay. Maybe? It's like only on this specific square. <laughs> Just install the malware. Hey, everybody, over this way. Apparently, this surface works over here. Nice. He's really going for it. Oh, the AV. Hi. Blow it up. <laughs> Did it work? Did it blow up? <gasps> Yo, it actually kind of worked. Get down. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> okay, I'm done with this. <laughs> We've done enough. With that mission wrapped up, I decided it's time to go head to the chapel and meet up with Donkey Kong. With the assignment to go clear out the GIM of the animals, I make my way inside and try to get to stomping. And one of my fears is realized. I'm in an entire room that is basically unstompable. Now, because I didn't put the restriction I had to clear out every area of enemies, I just decide to get out of combat. Then I can hop into the boss fight with the hammer bro. Weak to fire, so if we need to use fire flower power, we can. <gasps> Let's go. Come at me! Bring it! 700 damage. Oh, it's dealing damage. Ah, <gasps> Let's go. Take this, Matilda. <laughs> Got him. Oh, let's go. Ready for some fun? Yep, oh, I am see. ready because I can actually what berserk stomp. On? Although I will say the lighting, really not a fan of this. Oh, I got a critical. Crazy. Okay. We just gotta, we just gotta let the berserk come back. We actually have done a lot of damage. 36% already. Wow. That's not what I expected at all. Uh. Uh. 
I'm glad that they made bosses stompable. <gasps> Yo, I activated the stomp when she hit me, and I still did damage even though I was falling on my back. That's so funny. <laughs> what is this, dude? Ow, ow, ow. Please don't. Please don't. Please don't. Stomp. <laughs> Stomp. <laughs> Uh, Matilda down. <laughs> with the excitement of beating a boss with just stomping, I make my way up to the Netwatch agent, start interrogating him, and Donkey Kong tries to kill me. After confronting Donkey Kong on why he tried to kill me, I finally get a meet up with who, how, uh, uh, we didn't think of a name for Brigitte. Let's do Boo. Let's do Boo. Boo then takes us into the Rainbow Road and we get a flashback from Cappy. Again, trying to keep in theme with this run, I mostly use the fire ability of this gun to push my way through the flashback. With the Cappy flashback wrapped up, I go talk with Pauline in the Rainbow Road, and after jumping out of the ice bath, I decide let's get into combat. Okay. Okay, so this this entire surface is a no-go. Let's get up to proceed. Our first undamageable boss. Sad. Oh, wait. Proceed, get down here. Okay. Ooh, nice. Okay, we're good, we're good. This floor, I can damage him. Oh. Sometimes? Bro, why is it so unpredictable? Oh, what is this, dude? Okay, Placid, are you ready? Here we go again. Ooh, a critical. Let's go. I don't know how the stomp can critical, but I will take it, you know? <laughs> Look what you guys have made me do. <laughs> What am I doing to this game? <laughs> Stomp. <laughs> uh, thanks, Placid. I'll see ya. With that mission finished up, I decide to run around and try to get the call from Waluigi before ending my stream. The next day, hopping back into the game, we go meet up with Waluigi and start the mission, play it safe. Although the first sniper is stompable, the next two are not, so I end up using my Fire Flower ability to take them down and make it to the fight with Shy Guy. Fuck! Of course you're here! Oh, damage? Good. Oh, we're doing damage. Sometimes. <laughs> He's like, what do I do? <laughs> hey, where'd you go? Get back here. The bosses, it seems like you have to land on their head to do any damage to them. It's really finicky. Oh? Here, here, come down here, Oda. Oda, Oda, down here, down here. Thank you. Yes, we're actually able to do damage to Oda. I was so worried. Get stomped. Hey, no, no, no. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Huh? Get back down here. <laughs> Ow. We're gonna try to only use Berserk Stomp. And I'm out of... Oh, no, I have Berserk. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna try to only use Berserk the whole time. Face the wrath of Mario. <laughs> where'd, it, where'd you go? Good stomp, good stomp. <laughs> Take this, Oda. Oh, we cornered him. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? <laughs> Yo, we're doing actually crazy damage. What the heck? Why is this actually working like so good? Like, I know we're playing on easy difficulty, so he doesn't have near as much health. But still, like, the fact that it's working... 
Okay, just stand next to him. I think that that gets him out of his heal faster. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> hey, no, get back here. Stomp. <laughs> oh, yes. We did it. We did it. <laughs> With Shy Guy down, Waluigi grabs Peach, and we meet up at this sketchy hotel. Now, I know a lot of you guys are going to fight me on the idea that Hanako's Peach, but the fact that we go into their castle and grab her out, and then she helps us take down Bowser, just kind of fit for me. So that's what we're doing, okay? So Peach is kind of a bad person. Makes it kind of interesting, don't you think? After having a nice conversation, Bowser grabs Peach as Waluigi T-poses on them. And because I wouldn't mind Waluigi in the future fights, I decided to jump up and save him real quick. We talk with Peach through her proxy, have a nice conversation with Cappy, and unlock the end of the game. Now, because this, once again, is probably one of my most scuffed runs, I decide that let's just go to the end of the game and take the only ending available to me. So I head over to Embers to go meet up with Peach, and after passing out, Cappy takes us to Egads and helps save us. After getting through all the cutscenes and conversations, I call up Peach and Waluigi and Kamek come and pick me up. We make it to the Arasaka estate, and I get to stomping. And once again, as long as I'm not in the building, it seems like the stomping just kind of works, so everyone on the outside seems to go down pretty easy, but everybody inside the building, I kind of have to rely on Waluigi. Now, if you're wondering why my FOV is so messed up, well, there's a glitch in this game that has been there pretty much since day one that still exists today, so that's great. After finally saving Princess Peach, we make our way to Arasaka Tower to go take down Bowser and Bowser Jr. Inside Arasaka, we make our way down to Luigi's Mansion, get it, because it's, it's a prison of souls, and talk with King Boo. Not before seeing our pal, Luigi. It's Luigi. Goodbye, Luigi. After saying our final goodbye to Luigi, we head into this conference meeting, show them King Boo, and get surprise attacked by Bowser Jr.'s men, and I get to stomping. Go! Oh, oh, yes, 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 this is what I like. <laughs> Take it! <laughs> get stomped! <laughs> We're going in! Oh, land. V, oh. land. Thank you. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I think I'd be saying the same things if I saw this. <laughs> Where you at, Goomba? I need to get a Goomba. Instant KO, let's go. <laughs> After clearing out most of the guys in these next couple areas, I run to the elevator and Waluigi and I get into the fight with Bowser. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. It's beautiful. As if they were gonna make this easy. Your mate is Smasher gonna get smashed. Adam Smasher. Oh, one percent? No, that's talking more doing the percentage. Uh Trust me, I know. Help me. Survival favors the strong. Oh no. Oh no, guys. Can Smasher not get smashed? Let's see if we can get him to follow me like upstairs. Maybe this upper pathway will work. Don't No. <laughs> this is so sad. This is so sad. We're gonna give it one more shot. <gasps> Damage! Damage! Why, is, why am I doing damage now? Yes, 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 yes. Smasher shall be smashed. <laughs> is it the pillar? Was it because it was next to the pillar? I don't get it, bro. It's working, though. It's working. We will beat Bowser with the smash. Damage? Damage. We're good. We're good. Oh, he's running. Oh, why do his machine gun helpers do more damage than Smasher? <laughs> the beast 
beast is angry. I am the beast, Takemura. Nope. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Hey, hold these. Hold these. I can't see anything. It's it's not doing damage again. I love this. This is, this is all I wanted, you know? This is all I wanted this run to be. was just intermittent damage and not working correctly the whole time. <laughs> Fire flower. Go. No damage. Okay. Smasher. Over here. Over here. Over here. Smasher. This way. Come over here. Please. A little faster would be nice. Great, great. Yeah, get up. There we go, damage. Stop running. Oh, so annoying, dude. Take a moment. We just need Smasher here. Just come on. Waluigi, I mean. Sorry. I keep getting your name wrong. Smasher getting smash time. <laughs> oh, it's so funny. No, stop running. Stop. Waluigi, don't you dare take my kill. He's mine. Five, four, three. Don't you dare. I think he technically got the final hit, but that was good enough. I can't jump. They won't let me jump. They won't let me jump. Fire flower. They won't let me. Okay. Uh. <laughs> Thanks for the help, Waluigi. Time to look to your problem. Kamek? Are you proud of me? Oh. I think Kamek is proud. You spend your whole life I did fighting it. something. I smashed Smasher. Well, that's going to do it. I hope you guys enjoyed this run. I know I had a lot of fun hanging out with you guys, trying to figure out the lore of who was who, and uh, just, you know, the whole idea of using the Berserk ability. Even though it was broken half the time, it was still a lot of fun to do, and you can probably see the genuine like joy and maniacal laughter I seemed to be doing when I was using this ability, because it genuinely was kind of fun when it worked. But the problem is it just didn't work half the time. Now, as I like to do at the end of most of my runs, I like to give you guys a little spoiler into what the next runs will be. I'm honestly going to be doing a Fallout run, which I probably have already started by this point. I'm going to be playing Fallout as Cyberpunk Johnny Silver. Anyways, so we're going to be doing that run. I'm going to be streaming it and eventually making a video on it. But the next Cyberpunk based run, I'm going to be doing the Sir John Pollenstiff run, which should be uh, interesting to say the least. That one's definitely going to be a, an, an easy one and a little bit more of a pushover, but it'll just be kind of funny. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one and I'll catch you guys in the next one.